I make bold because it is my duty to serve you and to warn you of the crooked practices of those who claim to represent your grace. Christ did not command the preaching of indulgences, but of the gospel. Hello, YouTubers. Today is October 31st. Woo. And we are recapping Sunday, October 30th, and celebrating Reformation Sunday. And yeah, we're getting ready for that, so that's cool. Um, my name is James. And my name is Isaiah. And I'm Greg. And we're from the Gate of Life Worship Team, and this is your Gate of Life Recap. All right, like I said before, it is Reformation Sunday this week, and we are really focusing on the 499th anniversary of Martin Luther nailing that 95 thesis to the door of the cathedral. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So today's first reading was from Jeremiah. He was talking about um, how he was going to instill a new covenant into the people of Israel and Judah mm -hmm. as compared to the covenant that he had given to Moses' people when they were up on Mount Sinai and how that covenant had been broken. Um, talking again about, you know, that the Lord is to be recognized as the only Lord, the only God that was for the people. Second reading is Romans, and this reflects why Martin Luther in the first place kind of hammered the thesis to the door, as well as re-edifies um, the Jeremiah scripture reading that um, on our own and by ourselves, we are, we are all sinners and we fall short of being worthy. And Jesus comes as a gift from God to, that he accepts us. And that, that is the love and that is the promise that God gives us. No matter what we do on our own, we can't, we can't get to heaven. We need help. We need help. And God knew that and he wants us to join him in heaven. And that's why he gave the gift of his son. And that's a reflection of why Martin Luther um, realizes that you know what's going on in the church as a whole is, is not the correct way to be a Christian. You can't buy your way into heaven. You know, you can't pay somebody enough gold to save us from our sins. Going along with that, buying your way kinda is a sin. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, you're not you're not being worthy of yourself and of God by doing the right thing for the right reason. Yeah. Instead of here's money, now I can get what I need. Yeah, and I think I think this is something that's really important for today because there is a confusion about what makes a good Christian, you know, per right. se. Like, um, you'll hear later in, in the sermon, Pastor Jason talks about that it doesn't matter how much of something we do, you know, here on earth. Like, kind of like last week's lesson with the Pharisee and how he stated, um, I'm better than this tax collector because I do this, 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 and this, and you know, thank God I'm not as bad as all these sinners around me. Like, that, that's not what Christianity is about. Like, it's not about doing all these good things for the sake of our salvation because the only person that, can, that gives us our salvation and righteousness is Jesus Christ and God. Tax collector was over in the corner, head bowed, mm -hmm. thankful for everything that he had, very sorry for the things that he had to do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but still very thankful for everything that he had. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's not so much uh, what we do in the eyes of the people around us. You know, uh, there's another scriptural read. It basically says, when you pray, um, instead go to the room and shut the door because uh, in privacy is, when, is where God can see what your heart truly has, you know? Mm. The Gospel today talks about Zacchaeus and um, the, the, the story of Zacchaeus being this tiny little tax collector who has swindled and basically stolen money from all the people that he collects taxes from. And he's, he's tiny, he's short, and when Jesus arrives, he wants to see Jesus. And so he climbs a tree, and Jesus sees him and basically talks about how great his faith is to, to come and get that far. And when Zacchaeus talks to Jesus, he says, you know, I will... I'll pay back everything that I've swindled from people. I'll give them four times as much as uh, what took. I took, Yep, what he took. And um, Jesus literally says, you know, verbatim that, you know, today salvation has come to this house. And that salvation being Jesus Christ. Kind of a reminder that our salvation can't be bought from any human being or any earthly thing, but our salvation is Jesus Christ. Children's word was a call entitled, A Wee Little Man He Was. Again, talking about Zacchaeus. Yep. 
Um, you know, Pastor Jason asked, was he short or tall? The answer, he was a short man. He had to climb a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus walking toward him. Therefore, yes, he was a wee little man. His job was a tax collector. He had not many friends because of the job that he did and how he did that. Again, as James stated earlier, you know, he swindled people out of money. He told him during this time that, yes, I will give this money back. Pastor Jason asked the kids, would you give half of your toys away? Would you give half of other things away? And a lot of the kids, I think, were taken aback. You know, I couldn't see their reactions from where I was standing, but. I think it's interesting that a majority of them uh, said, yeah, yeah, I'd totally do it. You know, I have a lot of toys, but I'll, I'll give half of it away. And then when uh, that was projected to the congregation, you know, there's, there's some hesitation because that's something hard, you know. It's, and that's, that's why it's so amazing to hear as a kiosk, this man who's accumulated so much, to be like, yeah, I'll give, I'll give more than half. I'll give, you know, four times as much as I took from people. And so that's the amazing part about uh, Jesus' presence and having Jesus in your life, you know what I mean? And truly that heart of a child that Jesus talks about, God talks about. The sermon today was titled Sim, Simul Usus Ad Peccator or Peccator and that literally means simultaneously saint and sinner. So, um, Pastor Jason really went into the idea that Martin Luther discovered that um, just kind of what all these scriptures were, were discussing today that no matter what, we we'll always fall short without Jesus. We can do all these great things, but without Jesus, we're, we're not going to make it. We're just not going to do good. And we need a lot of help. That's right. We do need a lot of help. And there's a lot of fear in that and understanding that, you know, we've already died when we were baptized. And we have, we have risen again out of the waters of baptism as saints. And that, that gift of sainthood is from God, and that's through Jesus Christ. And it's in the name of Jesus that we are saved and our sins are washed clean. You know, I think that's that, that's an idea that, that I think is glazed over a lot. You know, just like the, how important baptism really is to us as sinners because, you know, it's literally being washed and drowned and coming back. And when we come back out of it, we, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. We come back in the name of Jesus Christ. And people go through baptisms at different times in their life. Uh, in the Lutheran Church, it's custom that we do it as, as children, um, as little babies. And, you know, sometimes we'll see adults go through it, and that's kind of uh, similar to our, our confirmation. You know, but it's, uh, all in all, it's truly understanding that on our own and by ourselves, we, we can't do it without, without Jesus. Coming back to the Reformation in Luther, 499 years as of tomorrow, you know, it's 499 years. Mm -hmm. You know, next year, 2017, will be the 500th anniversary of the Reformation of, of the churches. Um, it's a long time. Mm -hmm. Next Sunday's first reading will be Job chapter 19, verses 23 through 27. And the gospel will be Luke chapter 20, verses 27 through 38. We hope to see you next week. And always remember uh, to go be disciples of Christ and... Be salty, my friends. Be salty, my friends. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 can take away our sin? Bring us back to life again. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Gate of Life Bethel Lutheran. And we post videos like this every single Monday for the service prior. Also, look us up on Facebook at Gate of Life, and you can keep up with any verses or YouTube videos like this through there, too. All right, see you next week. I'll go faster, right, buddy? Okay. Woo! This light is, like, completely, like, focused. Come on, holy! I know she's kidding. Peck, peck, peck. No. Peck a tour. Peck a That sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah. Okay, um, so, uh, you nailed it, man. Yeah, first time. Boom. Professional. Oh, all right. Ready to continue? Okay. Just, just sit and smile, okay? Okay. Look yeah. handsome. <laughs>